Art. Beauty. I have a story for you. A story full of hopes and money. I was accepted into one of the most prestigious art schools in America. My sweat and blood I put into my education and my art, for I am an artiste. But art is not all that it appears. If you are not an artiste, such as my level, you're going to work at The Gap. Oh, isn't it exciting? Whereas if you are my caliber artiste, you will get to work to make magic at Macy's. So, if y'all have been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I majored in art in my undergrad, and I ponder why. I just wanted to get away from home, and I wanted to be around people my own age, and I thought, well, college will be the best way, and also seem like I have money. Because as you know, college is expensive. But I just thought, well, I am a hard worker, and I am an artiste, and I will make it work. And also, I did not originally major in art. See, growing up, I always wanted to be, like, an illustrator or an animator, and then I would have a job and love it. The dreams of the unwashed masses. So I applied to my dream school, which was Savannah College of Art and Design, and they would mold me into the artist I was meant to be. Except I couldn't pay for it. And that's when I realized, oh, money is a thing in the world that I will need. So I decided, well, I'll just do something practical and then I can do art in my free time. So I decided to go into nursing. And then I realized that wiping people's for a living would not be my cup of tea. So I thought, well, I like listening to people's problems because they make me feel better about myself. No, I do like helping people with their problems. So I was majoring in counseling for a couple years of college. And halfway through, I was still in love with counseling, but then money. My dad was paying for my schooling, and then he lost his job. And at the time, I had signed up to study abroad in Japan and be that world-traveling cosmopolitan artiste at heart. And then when my dad called and he said, I need you to decide if you're going to stay in college or not. And I thought, my education, but more importantly, my friends. So I was like, no, I'm staying in college, I'll figure something out. I was worried that if I left college for a semester just to save money or something, then I wouldn't go back just because that's what I'd heard. You leave college, you don't go back usually. So I decided, well, I can't afford to study abroad, so I'll just continue my counseling classes. Except my dad had lost his job like the beginning of August and classes started in like a couple weeks. So I had to reapply for classes a couple weeks before they started. And guess what? They were all full. So I thought, I, my, the, my friends, I want to graduate with my friends. So I'll change majors. Not the best thought process at the time, but I got what I wanted. I graduated with my friends and with plenty of debt still, but I was just in a tizzy. So I call up one of my sisters and I was like, I don't know what to major in besides counseling. All the classes are taken. I just, I'm not good at anything besides listening to people. Well, that and writing and drawing. Well, why don't you major in one of those things? I, I guess I like writing. Yeah, but you're better at art. So I became an art major at a liberal arts college. So I thought it would be fun to react to my old college art and think more about my life choices. You like that reflection of my light here? Makes it look like I'm in heaven of my art. I just wanna say what hell college became once I started to major in art. Art is fun when you don't have to do it for anyone, but as soon as I had to do it every single day for somebody and realizing that that's what I was going to do as my living, I just, hell. I have not drawn in a year. In fact, all of my art supplies are in this closet buried amidst my trash. Let's see, I actually have a suitcase full of most of my art stuff that I kept to keep things somewhat organized. Do I have the starving otters aesthetic now? La, 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 what's this? I've been traveling on the road with my art since 1963. In the 80s, I learned to eat my canvases for nutrition. Look at the size of this tote. Uh, uh, uh. Hi. 
Try to change the camera angle so you can see me opening the magic box. This looks like you're my mom and you're catching me trying to run away. Especially with my hipster scarf. I'm gonna work at Starbucks, mom. You don't understand me. I'm leaving and I'm taking all the good to go cups. This thing is filthy. I don't know whether it's charcoal or paint on it or just random college debris. Smells like a paint thinner. There's not even any art in this one. This whole sketchbook I just used to make daily schedules and lists about what was due. Cause here's the thing, like when you're in college, you have so much freaking stuff you gotta do. There's really no time to stop and think, hmm, I think this was a poor decision. At least that's what I tell myself now. And I'm bashing on picking art as a major. I, I'm not trying to deter anyone from picking art, like you do you, but I'll tell you, if you want to be an artist, you gotta be motivated to make it work. And the thing is, I am a very lazy person. In fact, college in general, I would not recommend it to anyone just to go and meet friends and be part of that private school academia, unless you have like a job in mind for when you get out. Just going to say, I have higher education. That's not gonna fly for 40,000. I care so much about keeping my art. I just folded it up like laundry. I can make pretty realistic outlines of things, but then when the professor would ask me to shade things in, I'd be like, oh, you're gonna ruin how pretty it is. I remember drawing this one in one of my writing classes <laughs> with a sketchbook this big, just... Mm-hmm, I'm listening. Again, I can outline a pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. With this one, I thought that it would be neat with gender dynamics since elves are usually, whoop, elves are usually the fair folks, so I made him a boy, and ogres are never female, so I made a female. Kind of defeated the purpose though, because I made her look pretty human and with big, big boobs. This one I made as a birthday present, and then I realized this is too good to give away. So what my art professor would do most days is he would make a stack of random stuff in the corner and then have us draw it. And so here's a random stack. Look at that face, isn't it realistic? And I could shave that day. The thing is like my art, how good it was, depended on how good I was feeling that day. So there's some art where I'm like, wow, I can't believe I drew that. And then there's some art where I'm like, oh, I can't believe I drew that. This looks like it's gonna make a mess. It's just a picture of bricks. Vases. A eye. Hands. Mo hands. Cans. Plant. Same plant. Sink. This is terrifying. This is a picture of one of my sisters as a little girl. And I just did not know how to draw eyes proportionally. She's watching you. Another picture of one of my sisters, kind of lopsided, and she was not appreciative of it. She said it was creepy just that I had a picture of her hanging in my room. It's because I'm so full of love and affection to that little creep. What is this? I think the assignment here was to make something out of trash. So I picked cardboard and made a nun, I think. Sometimes we would have models come in, other students who were under like student work programs, people who need money, and so they would <laughs> sit for hours as we drew them. Look at that face. That expression of great delight after sitting still for three hours. I just realized I've been putting all of this charcoal infested pastel coated stuff on my white blanket. Well, that was a fun jaunt down memory lane. As you can tell, I'm not a fan of my art, which I think most artists are like, but I especially, just looking at it, it reminds me of poor decisions. I really should stop harping on how I regretted majoring in art because I really did enjoy college even though it was a lot of hard work. It's just that I feel like I did all those years of hard work and got jacked to show for it. After my undergrad, I went to school to become a massage therapist and I really love my job, but it again, it bothers me that I have a bachelor's I'm not using. So I've been thinking of going back to school for a post-baccalaureate to get another degree in health. Not another degree, but a master's in something. I just need prereqs. 
But more school and more debt. But this is just more so my therapy. So thank you all for sitting through my whining. We'll see if in a year I'm feeling up to going back to school. Or maybe I'll just do school part-time as I do my post-baccalaureate. I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess whenever I post next, then I will see you. Much love.